Good morning everyone, MMDA back on the road. This is the same road they cleared yesterday and again there's a lot of illegally parked vehicles. Everyone's rushing to move them out of the road to avoid a ticket. Aside from the illegally parked vehicles, you can see there are tables and chairs back in the road. All of these were cleared yesterday by the barangay and they've already been put back here as obstructions. You see people like this rushing to put his motorcycle inside here. This is the same thing that happened yesterday. They bring all the vehicles inside here and then once the MMDA leave, they take them all outside again. You see the obstructions, the parked cars, the parked motorcycles, they're all going to be taken inside the basketball court until the MMDA leave. Remember this guy illegally parked earlier? There have been some improvements though. Yesterday you couldn't walk along this sidewalk because this vehicle here was obstructing it. Today it's parallel parked so the sidewalk is clear. And over here there were lots of plants obstructing the sidewalk. They've also been moved. Whether it will stay that way I'm not sure but hopefully. If I remember correctly this one was also ticketed yesterday. The towing crew underneath this vehicle connecting the chain and everything like that. So this one will get pulled away. They do have towing today. Apparently they made some space in the impound already. Same thing over here. You see this red one's going up. Many of these vehicles were only ticketed yesterday. So everything will go inside for now. They're still busy removing all this stuff from the sidewalk, from the road. I'm sure if we look inside the basketball court now, it looks more like a parking lot. Bear in mind it was empty when we arrived. Now the obstructions have been removed, they can actually start cleaning up all the garbage. This gentleman looks like he might have had a hard night. I don't want to assume what he was doing, but... Hopefully he can wake up. I remember one time we were out early in the morning. There was a drunk guy laying on the road in front of a school and we had to wake him up. Get him out of the way because we didn't want to see you know the school kids to see him laying there drunk on the floor i'm not saying this guy is drunk i'm just telling you a story about a morning that we had one time number no so again you'd have to wonder it's 7 15 a.m broad daylight the guy's laying here in the middle of the sidewalk. How did no one from the barangay see this and deal with this? Why is it members of the public that have to clean up issues like this, convince the guy, hey, wake up, you need to move, you need to go? Now, obviously the MMDA don't have any authority over the barangay. That's why they file complaints and reports with the DIOG. And the hope is that the DIOG will take action to really make the barangay responsible to maintain their own area not just to make it look good when the MMDA go here and then to let the chaos return afterwards. The only reason why the MMDA are here is because of complaints which they've been asked to act on because the barangay are not doing it. 